Where does the notion that we should even eat three meals a day come from? I suspect, and I want to research this for my next book, it's, I think it's the food producers that they want that uh, it become, you know, a saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And, and then you've got the bars, the snacks that we now eat in between meals. For some reason, um, doctors, nutritionists were either educated or misinformed or both that uh, the body is best when it, it's never hungry. And we know that is not the case. And uh, just one point on the hunger. I typically am not hungry. Now, if, if you start fasting and you've never done it before, you will feel hungry. There's a hormone called ghrelin, which will cause that. Of course, it's not real. Hunger is just mental state. But after three weeks, you find, I found, that the state of hunger goes away. So during the day, I'm not peckish. You know, I might eat some nuts or whatever just to su suppress a little bit of twang. But um, I'm not starving by any means. And I actually really, really enjoy my dinner as a result. But I, if you try to do what I do tomorrow, you will fail. You need to slowly work up to it and learn the tricks like drinking water, drinking tea, fill your stomach with hot or cold water and uh, fluids and that'll help. Well, that's a, that's a trick you can use every day. I do it. I'm drinking. For those that are listening, I'm drinking uh, some water here right now. Actually, it's a, it's a supplement drink. But yeah, that's a really good trick. And also, you want to eat your carbs after you have protein because that'll prevent your glucose from shooting up too high. And glucose, I wouldn't say it's poison. We need glucose to survive. But this typical Western diet of spiking glucose after breakfast and then it shoots back down and becomes now your hypoglycemic as it's called. You start to get the jitters, brain fog, now you eat again. And this cycle throughout the day, which is a typical Western diet, is really not very enjoyable once you realize that when you do what I do, your liver is making glucose throughout the day at a perfect level and it doesn't go up and down much. And you can focus and you're not worried about where your next meal is and your brain's really optimal and that to me I wish I'd started 20 years ago eating less often you don't just look better you actually can perform better as well you know I'm not a physical guy right I'm sitting and typing mostly and using my brain and I, I'm way I wouldn't say smarter but I'm way more focused than I was I don't get distracted I don't have memory loss and I'm also not wasting money and time on meals during the day either but yeah it's it's fascinating and, and it's been shown in mice to be true as well and I think what's also likely is that my brain activity and health will be maintained for uh, a decade or more longer by uh, adopting this kind of diet.